Hey, it's Stacey, and today I'm at Gigi's Fabric Shop, which is actually the home of Juki Junkies. Let's take a look inside. Ever thought about buying a sewing machine online but worried about where the machine is coming from and what service you'll get? Gigi's Fabric Shop is the home of Juki Junkies where you'll come if you live locally or are visiting the area. But today I want to take a look behind the scenes at Juki Junkies and show you why their customers rave about their excellent service. Juki Junkies is everything Juki, from sewing machines, industrial machines, accessories and parts, and are a small family run business in Brandon, Florida. I was not paid to do this video, but I am an affiliate to Juki Junkies, which means if you purchase a sewing machine via the link in the description below and use the code LEE2022, you will get some fun freebies with your order and I make a small commission at no cost to you. Are you ready to go behind the scenes of Juki Junkies? Hey, how you guys doing? Hey David. Welcome in. Come look at Juki Junkies Warehouse. So this is where we do all the shipping for JukiJunkies.com. Um, we have all the notions, accessories, threads, all that kind of stuff right here in this small little storefront. It's not that big Amazon warehouse you might think it is, but we do get a lot of stuff done here. So over there you're going to see Silver Fox and Gigi. Those are my parents. Hey <laughs> They're kind of the brain behind Hi. the operation. I just help them run it. So. Let's uh, head over here. This is going to be the shipping station. We actually only have one computer, one scanner, one weigher, and this is where everything gets processed and shipped out. Um, and this is the little awaiting shipment rack here. Just a nice little rack. Me and my dad kind of put together this little area. Here's like the little custom table where we actually package up all the accessories, parts, threads, notions. Um, and this is where it all gets packed up. Here is Ashlyn, this is our shipper. She is awesome. She gets all the orders out as fast as possible. And we'll just kind of bring you down this aisle and show you some of the accessories. Okay, David, I just spotted something really cute. Can you explain the little critters here? Sure, so these are all of the little critters and accessories that we get. So we've been doing this for probably a couple, a couple years now. And actually every order that ships out from Juki Junkies, whether it's just one thread, one, accessory or it's a whole machine you'll get one little i like to call it like almost like emojis and you get them with every order and people like to collect these and they kind of set up their own little scenes yes. and sometimes we do giveaways with the coolest scenes that people have set up in their um, sewing area so here we have like little chairs for the animals to sit on we got hamburgers we got mushrooms we got all sorts of different things little little cute little hearts there's tons of these charms out there, and every single time we run out, we order different types of charms, so there's always new ones coming out. And so what you'll find is on the Juki Junkies Facebook group, people are very excited about their order, but they're almost more excited about their little critter, so they'll, <laughs> they'll share a photo of their order with their critter right on top, and, and they are becoming quite collectible, yes. and I might be eyeing up a few right now. <laughs> So David, something I love about the Juki is you can replace the parts. So tell me, mm -hmm. how does that work? Is it just accessories on the sewing machine or actually parts of the sewing machine that are broken that you can help us get replaced? Good question. So we do actually replace any parts on the machine that could possibly break while you're sewing or just maybe, you know, you drop your machine and the thread stand breaks or the thread guide breaks on the machine. You can actually first check out JukiJunkies.com and find those parts or you can reach out to us via email and we can actually custom order any parts on your Juki. Sure, it might take a little bit longer than if you just had something in stock on jukijunkies.com, but we can actually order in any part for any Juki sewing machine. Um, and that's really helpful for people that are looking for parts that might not be out there on the internet. So it's pretty cool. Alrighty, now let's go back down this aisle and show you all the cool Juki accessories. So this is just the awaiting to go out rack. We're pulling the orders, packaging it up, getting ready to ship out. So right here, we have a customer that has some accessories for her Juki. She's got bobbins and she's got the hinge zipper foot, one of the most popular feet for this machine. Um, and let's just go ahead and walk down this way. We have, these are just racks for Juki parts. So we actually have them categorized, bobbin cases, just every single Juki machine. We have all the little parts for it. One stop shop for Jukis, which is really cool. Needles, notions, all these kind of parts. This is my favorite rack and I think this is gonna be your favorite rack because a lot of you guys love the TLs. So. The TLs are so popular that they don't get these little individual shelves. They get boxes for the parts. So the hinge zipper foot has its own box with hundreds of these parts. The thick throw plate, which is by far one of the most popular accessories for the Juki TL, is in huge bags of tens. And we just, we absolutely love the Juki TL and all the common accessories. So we have a rack dedicated just to that. 
And that's what this rack is, bobbin cases, all those kind of things. And here's more Juki parts for, you know, machines that are may, may not be as, as popular as the Juki TL. Um, and that's what you're gonna see on this rack here. And then of course, as you walk throughout these little aisles, we really only have like two aisles here at the Juki Junkies warehouse. And that's all we need, all these little parts, they're tiny and they just take up a little bit of space. So that's why there's all these little bins because each bin has three or four different parts in it. So it's pretty cool. Alrighty, come on down the second aisle. And this aisle we have, you know, just other parts and accessories, but mainly notions and materials that aren't related specifically just to Juki. We kind of wanted to make the JukiJunkies.com a little bit more universal to, you know, you can one-stop shop kind of thing. You can purchase, you know, some accessories for your machine, some grids, some cutters, maybe some $5.99 clearance fabric on the way out of the shop. Just add it to your cart, get to the free shipping, and uh, you're ready to go. One other thing to show you is here's the bins of all the charms. So right here is all those charms we were telling you guys about. We got flamingos, we got bears, we got little chipmunks, we got husky dogs, we got koalas. I mean, all these little things just slowly get added to your order. And as you collect them, you know, you can build a cool little scene. So it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this is the aisle two. We're pretty much, this is, this is all that's on jukijunkies.com. Doesn't seem like a lot, but I promise you, you'll get lost in that website. There's so many accessories and parts for you guys to shop. So thanks for showing me the warehouse. Would you mind showing me where you test the machines? Sure, I would love to. Let's go. Oh, oh. oh goodness. Oh, are these oh Juki gosh. parts? Are you okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. Stacey, you don't understand. <laughs> when we are missing parts for months and people are complaining, we just got the shipment in. This is the mother load of parts. It just Hallelujah. arrived. Hallelujah. The We've day you Juki came, parts. the parts arrived. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you guys are going to be so sign. happy. It's a sign. It Buy is a Juki from Juki Junkies <laughs> and use the code Lee2022. Uh, yeah, Lee2022. <laughs> just put it in the video at the bottom, right there. Yeah, click Boom. the link. Click, click the link. Okay, David, someone's just ordered this beautiful new machine. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Alrighty, so when anybody orders a Juki TL mechanical machine, the first step is testing the machine prior to shipping it out. And of course, that's after we give the customer a phone call just to go over how they heard about us and kind of just learn a little bit about them and kind of inform them a little bit about the mechanical machine. Um, because obviously number one thing is making sure that the customer is happy with their machine purchase and it's gonna be the right fit for them. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and open up the box and get this machine ready to test. So this is just a nice little quality control um, that we like to do and it also allows us to set the tension and leave it threaded so the customer really kind of already knows what to expect out of the box so they don't have to have a whole bunch of different variables to work off of they already see what it should do with what we have installed on the machine which is typically glad 40 weight polyester thread and four layers of cotton There we go, plug in the foot pedal, turn the bad boy on. And one of the first things we like to do too is loosen the screws on the, the plate so it's easier for our customer right out of the box to uh, loosen these because sometimes it's not the easiest with just a little T-screw. So now we kind of just break that screw so now when you change it out for a thick throat plate it's not going to be super, super tight from the factory. Let's get this thread up here, put it in the threader. Try off any excess oil on the bobbin case, or the bobbin, and the bobbin case. Alrighty, looks like that bobbin's nicely wound, nice and tight. Fully wound, perfect. Make sure the bobbin goes in here perfectly. Bobbin tension looks good. Cut that thread. Insert that bobbin case. Here the click. Four layers of cotton material. Put that underneath the foot. Grab that thread and thread the machine. Voila, presser foot's good, stitch quality's good. 
Bob Winder's disengaged. Thread quality looks perfect. Holy cow, that's beautiful. Bottom needs to be a little bit more tight. Nothing crazy, so we'll just make a quick little adjustment. We'll give that a check. Looks really, really good. And the bottom looks even better. Perfect, so now this machine has been tested. We're just gonna do a couple other little quick tests. Do a couple corners, zigzags, reverse stitch, forward, needle threader, or cutter. And we'll just, we'll just run a couple more tests, making sure everything's gonna run perfectly for the customer. We'll cut with this button back behind this little tab. We'll test the needle up and down feature. Bam, she's ready to go. She's a beautiful machine, ready to be delivered to her new homeowner, which is gonna keep really good care of you. <laughs> so now we can just go ahead and throw it back in the styrofoam. And most people, you won't even know that we've tested it because we know how to put it back exactly how it came. So now these machines are all the tested machines and they're ready to go out the door for the next customer that buys a TL18, 2010, TL15, or any of the mechanical series. So I think the testing that they do here on the TL machines is just amazing. It just means that you know when you get your machine, it's going to be stitching really nicely and you get a little sample there showing you exactly how it should be stitching. But what happens if you have a problem? You've got your machine and you've run into some problem or something's broken. Well, then what do you do? Let's go and ask David. David? Hey, how you doing? I'm just uh, working on a, we have, we have machines that kind of stay in the shop that are kind of like parts machines, things like that. Um, also kind of like video machines to kind of demonstrate how to fix maybe some user error issues or maybe there's an issue with your machine that we can resolve without having to ship it back to us. Um, so currently I'm actually recording a video where I'm showing a customer why she is experiencing some excess oil in the presser foot bar area and the needle bar area. And I'm kind of showing her how there's these wicks that drip down onto these felt pads and how you can tell if it's excess oil or if it's lacking oil, things kind of like that. So here's our little tech area where we kind of just do some support, online support with customers so they can, um, virtual support, I guess you could say. So they don't have to ship a machine here. We can kind of troubleshoot with them at their house if they would like to do this versus shipping it in. So it's kind of fun. Wow, I think that's incredible, David. So what, David, you're saying is you will make a video to show someone how to fix their exact problem. Correct. So if it's something that I feel that, you know, Maybe we can go over and resolve the issue without having to pay for a shipping label or them having to drive out here. We do this with local customers even. Um, if you're 30 minutes away and you call me up and you say, hey, um, my machine's making this noise or hey, I can't figure out how to do my reverse stitch. I'll do a quick little video over here in the service area and I'll kind of go over some tips and tricks to figure out how to resolve that issue without having to take time out of your day and travel here or have to ship in a machine. So it's one of my favorite things to do because I love hearing all the different little troubled things that you might have with any of your Juki machines because every time you come to me with an issue, I just become smarter and smarter and learn, learn more about Juki's where I can help you guys out a lot easier without having to call my rep from Juki and ask him. So I love becoming smarter with Juki's. <laughs> <laughs> That's so really cool, do. David. I love that. Yeah. But I think someone's been missing in this video. I think we need oh. to go and find Gigi and Boki? Gigi and Boki, yes, they'd love to see you. Let's go, go find check them. them out. Okay, I found them. They're over here. So, hi, lady. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> you caught us. We're we're doing some coordinating. Oh, can I help? Nice <laughs> show. Yeah. yeah. So oh. We're doing some pretty fabrics. We're doing this like one yard apron. Oh. Oh, and so we're doing some pretty fabric. Feel these fabrics. Oh, I love this canvas. Love these. these are like your bag. Yes. So they're perfect. Yes. They're perfect. Um, so you guys do live tutorials. We do. We do. And then you teach people how to make whatever the 
tutorials. We're trying to inspire <laughs> you guys to use your sewing machines. <laughs> so and we hold do that. your hand along the way. That's right. So That's we're giving cool. you all the tips and tricks, and we're trying to, to get you guys to do fun projects that are easy to do, and you actually finish, no UFOs. <laughs> <laughs> so and the goal is to really do small projects yeah. right. on Monday nights. Okay, yeah, so you want to make it and finish it in one session? Make it Mondays. And do people make it with you, or do they just watch it, or a bit of both? We try to do both. A okay. Bit of both. Yeah. That's so fun. Yeah, so, so it's really like fun. a live sewing class. And it's yes. free. A free live sewing free. class. That's Capital F R E. <laughs> <laughs> and what happens is they don't sew one one project, they mm -hmm. just keep doing them over and over. Oh right. my gosh, yeah. Like the bucket hat frenzy. Yeah. It, it's like they did one and then it we was We almost two, broke the three. internet with that. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. But so, we so all fun. love free, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So check those out. They're super fun. Put your, your sewing machine to to its maximum potential right. Right. and uh, make some fun projects yeah. with us. And we go live typically on Monday nights at 7.30 yep. and then Wednesdays, we just changed recently. We just time changed recently. Wednesdays to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and then Fridays at 12 p.m. Eastern mm -hmm. Standard Time as okay. well. That so. is so much fun. Yeah. I'm gonna, maybe I could join in one time. Yeah, oh, it'd be really fun to have you one night with us. us. You that would be so in. much yeah. fun. Yeah. We should do one also while you're here. You should yes. have guest sewers. Oh my yes. gosh, <laughs> how amazing. Eureka! <laughs> Idea. I can be. I can be first. Yes, <laughs> at least right, rightfully so. It was your idea. Yeah. That would be, that would so, be so much fun. fun. Yeah. That'll be. That'll be great. We should definitely do that. Okay. We'll pick our next Make It okay. Monday. Which is okay. you guys should let us know what you want. Goal. With my new house, with my sewing room, that's yeah. what I keep saying. I'm gonna have my affiliates come over and. That sew is at our such house. a good idea. Let oh. us know in the comments what you guys would like us to do on our yes. next Make It Monday. We should do one together and tell us what you guys want to do. We'll but she's collaborate. Not be here. I'm not gonna be here. But we'll book. We can do like a Zoom. Or okay. something. You'll just sit next to me okay. on the camera. Okay. Well, it counts for something. Nice. Exactly. <laughs> so Boki had to go home. She's actually coming back for a live at 7.30. So do make sure you tune into those. But I've got Gigi here and I just want to ask you some real quick questions and give me like 30 second answers. Oh boy. And these are from your members <laughs> over on your Facebook group. Okay. So how do you choose inventory? Wow. How do I choose inventory? Um, probably we listen a lot to what our customers are, are wanting. So that's one of the, the ways we choose and also what inspires us online. Okay. That's cool. And how is it working with family? <laughs> <laughs> do you really want me to answer that one? <laughs> no swear words. <laughs> um, so at first it was kind of hard. Um, David was a big like boss you know in corporate world <laughs> and I was the boss on this end so we had to merge together so that was hard probably for the first six months we we had to figure out who was the gonna be the boss <laughs> you know and then sometimes now he's my boss but we really you know worked it out one of the things that we figured out was we all needed to have um, titles and staying in that lane of your title. Mm -hmm. And that really helps us a lot. Um, we also try to be very professional at work. We were really casual at first with each other, but now we realize we can't do that because <laughs> we're at work. So we try to stay professional really okay. at work. That's cool. And how many staff do you have? Um, right now we have 11, and I think some of us count double. So <laughs> it would be like 12, 13, 14. Okay, <laughs> doing two jobs. <laughs> What got you interested in sewing? High school. I actually learned how to sew while I was in high school, and my first my first project was a ruffled three tiers skirt. Oh, that's how so cute. I fell in love with that. I don't know because I remember it being so hard. Oh yeah. yeah. I remember having one of those skirts. Not oh, making goodness. one, but I did have one. And it was rainbow fabric. Oh my gosh. And I literally remember <laughs> going to the store and picking out that fabric. It was so much fun. Oh, that is and so ever cute. since then, I've been hooked, really. Okay, that is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, what made you decide to start a business? Oh, I think it's the entrepreneur juices that start with me, you know, within my family. We've always been entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, but what made me specifically start this business? It's a really long story story. I was a photographer for 20 years and I did that for a long time wow. and long story short I was in the hospital and it was today you're gonna die or tomorrow you're gonna come back. Today you're gonna die and maybe you're not gonna die. So I wow. had to choose <laughs> literally a new career because I thought I was gonna be you know have some type of um, needs where I couldn't do photography. So wow. I looked at David right before I went in um, 
to the OR and I said, I've got to start a new business because I'm not coming <laughs> out of here not being a photographer, you know, or not, I, I wouldn't be able to do photography. Right. So, wow, that's how it started. And I, I looked at him and I went, it has to be something with resale because I have a resale license. And I was sewing a lot at the time. Mm -hmm. So I thought, makes sense. Sew fabric, I mean, sell fabric. And I had the resale, it started an online store. It started off as xoggfabrics.com. Okay. Believe it or not. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the last question is, do you sew for fun? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> so I do sew for fun, um, but I don't get to always sew for mm -hmm. fun because mm -hmm. the business has grown so much that I don't get that time. So you'll see me when I teach a class that I actually get kind of giddy because it just makes me happy. David always says, I can hear in your voice when you get home <laughs> when you've been sewing oh at the shop. That's, yeah. So, yeah. but soon i'm building my dream home right now which i'm super excited and one of the things that i'm planning is a big sewing room oh my gosh in hopes that i can sew from home a lot more because right now i don't really have a home i'm okay. kind of like a hobo <laughs> <laughs> and that's a real dream right to have an amazing sewing room i and cannot just, wait i cannot wait cruise on them when you want mm -hmm. and, and i like sewing smaller things mm -hmm. things that i can finish and they're not going to turn into a ufo that's my favorite type of project yeah Thanks so much, Gigi. It's been lovely being here. And I can see David. David, can sure. you come and join us? Sure. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so thanks so much for having me. It's been a real pleasure. And I hope you all agree that Juki Junkies and Gigi Fabric Shop is an amazing shop with exceptional customer service. Do check them out. And if you are interested in a machine, click that link down below. Okay, we'll